Welcome to This Week in Lindenwood Athletics. I'm your host, Brett McMillan. And we start off on the ice this week as the Lindenwood Lady Lions travel to Columbus, Ohio to take on their first series ever as a full-fledged member of the NCAA Division I. The Buckeyes swept the Lady Lions in two straight games, beating them 4 to nothing on Friday night and 7-2 to on Saturday. However, Allison Wickenheiser and Lindsey Kirkham both did find the back of the net in the 7-2 to loss. Well, the Lady Lions will come home playing at the, out in Wentzville at the Lindenwood Ice Arena this coming weekend as they take on the University of Wisconsin. Wisconsin has been to six out of the last seven women's ice hockey national championships. That is the Texas Roadhouse Classic taking place this weekend in Wentzville. Football is now uh, beating, you know, beat Nebraska Kearney over this past weekend, 49-28. to They're now 4-1 overall and 3-1 in the MIAA. Donatus O'Brien broke the LU record for all-time points scored with a second quarter touchdown. Andrew Helmick now is the all-time single game receiving yards record holder at Lindenwood and Ben Gomez threw for six touchdowns and broke the all-time passing yardage LU record. The Lions will be at Fort Hayes State who is one and four so far this season although they have played one of the ten toughest schedules in all of the NCAA Division II. Lindenwood has not been on the road since it opened up in Lincoln on September the 1st. Women's volleyball went 2-0 this week. They knocked off Umsel and Moe Southern at home, both by scores of 3-0. They'll play against McKendry this week. They lost earlier this season 3-2 to the Bearcats at the Arkansas Tech Tournament. They'll then head to Bolivar over the weekend for the Southwest Baptist University Purple Bash. And then soccer had a good week as well. They were 2-0, beating Fort Hayes State 1-0 on the road in Fort Hayes, Kansas, and beating Southwest, or Southwest Nazarene 3-0 as well. The Fort Hayes State game pitted 20, number 21-ranked 21 LU versus number 9-ranked Fort Hayes. Craig McTeer had the game-winning goal, heading a ball top shelf off of a corner kick. They will be at non-conference Oakland City this Wednesday in their only matchup of the week. Craig McTeer is one of our athletes of the week, the male athlete of the week. He had one goal and one assist during those two wins for the Lions. Lindsay Porter of the women's field hockey team was the female athlete of the week. She had two goals and two assists during the two wins of the week for the Lady Lions out on the field. They will not play this week. That has been your week in Lindenwood Athletics. I'm your host, Brett McMillan. We'll see you next week.